hi friends this is the fifth video tutorial inside the video lecture series on web scrapping with the help of python beautiful slope library so in the last lex last lecture we have seen about how we can find the descendant of individual element inside the html tag now in this lecture we are going to see about how you can select the sibling of individual element so let's see what does this sibling mean in this case so in this case also we are going to uh, use this reference web page let's see the source code of this web page so if you consider uh, inside this table tag which is having id gift list there is a one tr element along with that tr element there is another tr element which is not the descendant of uh, tr element but along the side at the same hierarchical level this different tr element are situated so suppose we give one tr element and we want to find all the siblings of this tr element which is nothing but all this tr element which is having a id gift 1 gift 2 gift 3 gift 4 and uh, gift 5 so this all tr element which are all the sibling of this the very first tr element which is nothing but the header of this table so the individual tr element represent the one one row of individual table individual rows okay okay uh, let's start how we can do it uh, in our beautiful soap function okay okay let's start Mm. let's first import our URL lib library for the fetching web page and then beautiful soap library so from URL lib to import star I am using URL lib 2 because I am using the python 2x family version 2.7 if you are using python 3x family version you can go for just the URL lib because it has the same library has been renamed to URL lib from URL lib now we'll import the beautiful soaps library so from bs4 import beautiful soap so we have imported this to library now let's uh, open this url we will supply the url of this web page which we want to fetch we want to extract the data and we will assign it to html reference variable now we got this data inside this html reference variable now let's pass this data so for passing purpose we are going to use this beautiful soap function inside this beautiful soap library so we will supply whole our html string and we will supply the parser name so standard parser is lxml and we will assign it to the bs so till now we have got all the parse data inside this bs reference which is nothing but the beautiful soap objects in beautiful soap library now our task is to find all these siblings of this tr element so let's first uh, find this tr element and on the top of this tr element we will apply the next siblings matters which will return us the all sibling of this tr tag so let's uh, first find that tr element now uh, we cannot go directly to find the tr element so let's reference uh, it with the help of tag element and the tag element have has a descendant tr element so let's find this table element first and which is having id gift list which we did in last lecture so bs dot there is one find function is there inside that we will supply the ta tag name which we want to find this is a table and a id we will supply it in a curly braces so it is a gift list ok so till now we have got the table uh, element the tag which is having a uh, name table now we want to find the, the first tr of that 
so it will this much amount of code will return us the very first the tr tag of this element insert the header of this table and our task is to find all siblings of this tr tag so there is a one method of attribute next sibling next siblings so what it will do it will return us all tr element inside this table which is nothing but the sibling of the first tr element so it won't return the very first because that's what our reference is with respect to the first tr element we need we want to find all the siblings so it will return us lot of uh, siblings so we will put it inside uh, some sips reference and now let's iterate it and print individual sips siblings with the help of for loop now see okay so we have got all siblings of this tr element inside this sips reference and we have iterated for individual element of this sips and let's print it so before running this code we are expecting it to give output like this tr element as a first one then the second tr element which is having id give 2 give 3 give 4 and give 5 so let's run it and verify it okay there is a typo here siblings okay we got it so it has written as the all tr element which is the sibling of the first tr element we gift one gift two id another third element gift i gift three fourth element has a id give four and a gift five that is what we are expecting from the next sibling attribute so in this way we can find the sibling of individual element with the help of this next sibling attribute on the top of this beautiful soap uh, function thank you guys for the watching uh, i hope you enjoy listening this uh, video please do comment like and subscribe it